Hi, my name is Mary. I'm part of Intel Auto. And what we're showcasing here is the ability to run multiple workloads all on a single processor. So this system right now is running an Intel, uh, the first generation Intel Automotive SoC. And um, all of these displays and all the workloads are all running off that single processor. So if you look at the widescreen display here, we have a real-time operating system that's running the instrument cluster at the end, and the rest of the display is an Android virtual machine. So what we're showcasing here is the ability to run mixed criticality workloads all on a single display. So um, we're also showing some of like AI inferencing and such with the e-mirrors. And then we also have a control panel that um, that showcases this dashboard display. So on the dashboard display right now, what we're showing is our adaptive control unit and the way we can like seamlessly switch workloads based on the uh, user's driving modes. So for example, when you're in like highway driving, you're using all wheel drive versus when it switches to a city driving, it'll be just front wheel drive. And this part actually can be completely customized based on the driver's uh, daily usage and so make it more power efficient for them. And in the back seat here, we're kind of emulating bringing the living room experience into the back seat of your car. So we have the individual consoles for each like passenger to, um, and it's running an Android virtual machine. And then the shared console on top is an Ubuntu virtual machine that they can play a game together on or watch a movie together and so on. Source, so they can, they can either use this reference as is or they can you know, build on that, scale on that, change it up however they want. There is no, it's software agnostic in that sense. I see, and uh, that's the controller behind it? Yeah, so this is the adaptive control unit that was doing the um, workload shifting. Right. So this is actually what's um, doing that portion, our zonal controller that's doing that portion. The new, uh, the new adaptive control solution that is dedicated to electric vehicle power control and energy management. So the solution is composed of the adaptive control unit, so the control chip. We provide as well advanced control algorithms that allows us to efficiently control uh, the electric uh, motor, but also the power modules that you can find in an electrified powertrain, like DC-DC converter, onboard charger. So with this solution, we are able to increase the energy efficiency of the motor by 5%. We are also able to uh, downsize the motor by 25% while still delivering the same power. So it's a very powerful solution. And here we have uh, a live demonstration of it. So uh, you, we can see the adaptive control unit here uh, in the, the silver um, chip that is currently running three uh, main applications. The DC-DC control, um, inverter and motor control and an energy supervisor. And the idea is that the energy supervisor scales dynamically up or down the voltage supply of the electric motor so that we place the system into its most optimum energy configuration. So you can see here it's 400 volts battery but the DC-DC converter can decide to use uh, less voltage because we have maybe uh, a low speed of the vehicle and by this way we are able to increase the range of the vehicle by four percent or alternatively we can use a smaller battery to, re to reach the same range. Do you have any uh, design wins or customers who are coming on that? Yes, so this uh, solution is uh, integrated in uh, Karma inverters and it is also being used by Stellantis Motorsport. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time.